Lesson three. Our objective, once again, this is lesson three, module five, topic A. This is the last topic, excuse me, the last lesson in topic A. And we're going to compose and decompose right triangle prisms using layers. So composing and decomposing right triangular prisms using layers. All right, let's take a look here. Number one, ask us to use the prisms to find the volume. And we're going to use these um, prisms here to find the volume. It says the rectangular prisms pictured below are constructed of one centimeter cube. So each one of these squares on this face represents a face on a cube that is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. All right, so decompose each prism into layers in three different ways and show your thinking on the blank prisms. So we're going to show our thinking down here. We're also going to be asked to complete the table. So the first thing that we can do here, let's say, well, we can have two layers. If we were to run our line from here, To here, we would have a lower level or a lower layer and an upper level. If we were to think of it like a cake that was layered, if it started with vanilla and then it had chocolate, and then it was another layer of vanilla and then chocolate, this bottom layer is, of course, 12, and then we're going to have a top layer that's 12. So let's go ahead and split this here, and we're going to say, this is no, let me try that again here. Now once I get there, I want to make this next line run the same angle as this line here. So that would be twelve at the bottom and twelve at the bottom. So I have two excuse me, twelve at the bottom and twelve at the top. I have two layers. And there's 12 on each layer for a total volume of 24 cubic centimeters. Next, I can split it the way that we initially started to split it is by making my layers like I'm slicing bread. So now I have four layers, and I want to make this next line similar to this here. And each layer here would be 6, 12, 18, 24. So I have four layers, and each one would be six cubes in each layer for my 24 cubic centimeters or my 24 centimeters cube. And lastly, this is the harder of the three ways, which would be my layers here, which I can have if I split one, two, three layers here and each layer would be eight all right so that would be eight eight in the middle and eight on the outside for three layers eight cubes in each layer for 24 cubic centimeters all right, let's take a look at 1B here. So now I have 1B. Now we have our figures a little bit higher. I see the same three splits here. First, I'm going to go here. Say, let's do three different colors. I can do five layers with six cubes in each layer. For my 30, let's go ahead and look at these right here. So one, two, three, four lines will give me five. So that'll be the same four lines. Give me five layers. One, two, three, four to get my five layers. And of course, I'm going to follow the same angle here. Get one, two, three, four. That'll be six, 12, 18, 24, 30. All right. Now let's change the colors up here and go with my green. So next I'm going to have my three layers. If I look at it 
this way here. I'm going to take each one of these layers here. One, two, three. I'll have 10, 10, and 10. So let's go ahead and draw that. I have three layers and 10 cubes in each layer to get my 30 cubic centimeters. So same thing, I'm going to do it my vertical lines now, just like I did up here. Then these lines are going to follow the pattern of my edges up top. And each one is going to be 10, 10, and 10 to get my 30 cubic centimeters. All right, and lastly, let's take a look at our last breakdown. Let's go ahead and change that to, we'll go with, let's go back with red. So now I'm going to have two, it's going to be split into two layers. Each layer is going to have 15. And of course, 15 times two is 30 cubic centimeters. And it's going to be split right down the front and the back. And of course, this would be 15 up front. And that would be 15 in the back. All right, let's move on to number two here. So looking at number two, Stephen and Chelsea want to increase the volume of this prism by 72 cubic centimeters. Chelsea wants to add eight layers and Stephen wants to only, I'm sorry, Stephen says we only need to add four layers. Their teacher tells them they're both correct. Explain how this is possible. So remember, if we are adding, we know, we know that we're going to look at, well, are we adding the layers to the top or are we adding layers to the side? In this case, Chelsea says that she's going to add eight layers. So if she's starting off with layers of nine, she's going to say, well, nine times eight. She's looking at it this way. She's looking at it as one, two, three, four, five, six. She's going to add eight more layers of nine. So she would add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So she's going to add eight layers of nine to get her 72. And Stephen, on the other hand, let's erase that. Stephen is looking at it as he sees 18 layers. He's looking at the layers this way. So he sees one layer, 18 two layers of 18, three layers of 18. So he's going to add four more layers of 18 and 18 times four also equal to 72. So she was to add, excuse me, if Stephen was to add four more layers of 18, he would also have added on, increased the volume by 72 cubic centimeters. So either one would be correct. All right, looking at number three here. Juliana makes a prism four inches across and four inches wide, but only one inch tall. So she has a four by four by one uh, prism. She then decides to create layers equal to her first one. So she's just gonna pile on layers that are four by four by one. So fill in the chart below and explain how you know the volume of each new prism. So let's take a look here. We know that the first level is four by four by one. So we say four by four is 16. 16 times one is also 16. That's gonna be 16 cubic centimeters. That's what we're starting with. So now, if she was to multiply that by three, each layer has 16. So we know that this is gonna be, excuse me, 16 
cubic centimeters times three. This is going to be 16 cubic centimeters times five. And this is going to be 16 cubic centimeters times seven. So let's take a look here. Well, looking at the first one, 16 times three, six times three is 18. And then I have three times 110 is three tenths plus 110 is four tenths. So we know that this is going to be 48, oops, I said centimeters. Make sure you get your units right. That is inches, excuse me. It's 48 inches or cubed or 48 cubic inches. That should be inches cubed. All right, now we have 16 times five. If you're not good with the multiplication, you could just say, well, that's going to be 16 times three plus another 16 and another 16, or you could just do the multiplication. Five times six is 30. Five times 110 is five tens plus three tens is eight tens. So we have 80 inches cubed or 80 cubic inches. And last but not least, seven, you should see the pattern. The difference is uh, what we just add on. So we have seven times six is 42. Seven times 110 is seven tens plus four tens, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 tens, which is 112. So we have 112 inches cubed. All right, moving on. So number four says, imagine the rectangular prism below is four meters long by three meters tall by two meters wide. Draw horizontal lines to show how the prism could be decomposed into layers that are one meter in height. So we want one meter uh, layers. And let's go ahead and take a look at that here. So it has blank layers from top to bottom. So from top to bottom, how many layers would it have? Well, we know if it is long, the length is four. You know, we need three lines. One, two, three. So that's going to be our length. We know that it is also two meters tall, so that's going to be, excuse me, three meters tall, so it's going to be two lines to divide it. That's one, two, that's my height, and the width is two meters, so that's going to be my line split in here. And then we're just going to fill in the rest. All right. So now it says it has from top to bottom. How many layers is it from left to from top to bottom? We have one, two, three layers from top to bottom. Each horizontal layer contains so horizontal. I'm talking about going this way. Each horizontal layer will contain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubic meters. And the volume of this prism would be a one, two, three, four by one, two, by one, two, three. Let's go ahead and multiply that. At four times two is eight. Eight times three is 24. And what's our metric system? I'm sorry, our measurement unit is meters, and it will be meters cubed or cubic meters. It'll be 24 cubic meters. All right, and that is it for number four. So hopefully, this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask them in class tomorrow or post in the comments. I will do my best to answer as quickly as possible. As always, like and subscribe, and I hope this was beneficial to you.